I was trying to make millions of coins bizarre flipping when I came across an item with zero sell offers. Huh, nobody in the whole game has this item, and it looks exactly like the golden bull- Oh god, not again! Last time Skyblock was updated, there was a secret item that we hunted for. We plotted coordinates, dug every block in the world, learned new languages, even tracked people's IP addresses, all to find the golden ball. Now, a new secret item has been released, the Kudra Mandible, and apparently this one's going to be much more difficult to find. The first one to find it could sell it for billions of coins. I could join the hundreds of people in Cowshed all working together to find it, or I could- it would be rude of me to take Kudra's mandible without killing him first, so I'll go and fight Kudra to finish my questline and see if I can spot any mandibles while I'm there. I died. This time I wore the tankiest armor I could find and got a fangirl to deal all the damage so I could just hide in the cannon while the real men did the work. How does my cannon shoot multiple balls? It only has one cannon. Eventually we killed it and I could not lock the chest because I don't have a key. The real mystery is how is this chest stronger than a giant tentacle monster and I can't just open it with my sword. With the Kudra dead, I went back to the chief. He formally adopted me. Now that I have the quest complete, I can hunt for the mandible of the Kudra, the pet will have to wait. First of all, the hints. The person who made the golden ball hunt, Deuces, also created this hunt, and he left one small hint. I hope one of you have a PhD in mathematics. Like I said, a little bit harder than the last time, but I think I remember seeing a mathematician in the hub one time. Here he is, hiding behind the house, is the maths enjoyer. Hey, if you really want to know, the formula for magical power is maths. The graph of the equation looks like this. It's supposed to show the stats given by your magical power, but the in-game statistics don't match what's given by this equation, so I started plotting comparing the equation to the in-game result. Hundreds of data points to find the place they converge. The only place they equal is when your magic power is 5810. Could this number be the key? I tracked down the person who created the in-game calculator and asked for information. He called me an idiot. Wait a second. Let me just move this. Oh, yep, I had it written wrong. That was not a lead. Instead, maybe I should actually play the game and look around. So I went to interrogate every NPC at Flower Point, and then... Deuces, the creator of both hunts. Quit. He left Hypixel to work directly under Jeff Bezos. No, seriously. Does this mean he didn't finish the hunt or that he gave up on us? This definitely means we aren't getting any hints. 15 minutes into the hunt, I give up. Until someone messaged me. Okay, hear me out. Deuce has left, but he might have left someone else in charge. There's a Hypixel admin whose bio reads, I like math. I wonder if he likes it enough to have a PhD in it. He has messages disabled, so I tweeted directly at him. While I'm waiting, I should say goodbye to Deuces. How's life under Jeffy B? Also, hand over the Kudra mandible or I'll kill Deuces. I had captured Deuce's soul months ago for this moment, threatening him should lead to a hint. Do it. He is stronger than I anticipated. And then I realized, I don't know what a mandible is. Deuces, I'm gonna go get an anatomy de- That's so hard to say. I'm going to get an anatomy- An anatomy- Deuces, I'm gonna get an anatomy degree to learn more about mandibles. Instead of quitting YouTube for four years and getting a degree, I stole the test answers. And found out that mandibles are jaws. So what we are looking for is the jaw of a giant creature. Maybe I should actually play the game instead of graphing things. After you kill the Kudra boss, a bunch of new NPCs spawn around the island. One of them is in the barbarian camp called the Kudra Archaeologist. Surely someone who studies the bones of the Kudra knows where the mandible is. I've been studying the ancient artifacts of Kudra. I found this artifact that had some weird writing on it. It has to be information somewhere that can fill in the blanks. 3x take 2x. Ah, oh, it's more maths. Back to graphing. It makes this shape. It looks just like the Skillshare logo. This video isn't sponsored, but it would have been a great segue. The archaeologist does say that it's an integral, which in fancy maths terms means area under the curve. If we look at the space between the curve and the x-axis, from here to here, that section is 10.7817 units square. We can use this information with another of the new NPCs, the Kudra Believer. He is the leader of the Church of Kudra. He says that if I believe in the return of Kudra, then I should donate to him. Of course, please have my food. You nope, he only wants cold hard cash. He says thank you when you donate to him, but if you give him exactly 107,817 coins, nothing happens. I still think getting a number from this graph and giving that amount of coins to the Believer could help us, but we don't know what the graph's boundaries are. It probably includes some amount of the negative section as well. Interestingly though, the Believer will bless you if you donate 1 million coins or more, or exactly 100,000. And he just bought a private jet with my money, Damn it! The integral is also missing DX at the end, which means instead of making this shape, it might make this shape. Please, no. So I tried directly messaging the new admin who likes maths. I hear you were quite gifted at mathematics, but he blocked me, so instead I said, I hear you were a bitch. Back to the game, the place the money scammer is standing is called the Flegba- the Flegba- <clears throat> the flame the people. And if we look at the list of creatures, the second one is the pea fish. Right next to a level 1 squid is a level 300 P. This has to mean something, so I tried fishing in the lava to catch one. But it's a 0.1% chance of being caught, so while my second account was macroing for that catch, I did some more exploring. The Kudra boss fight is just beyond this giant skull, and out the front are protesters, but we won't tear gas these ones. They tell you not to hurt Kudra. We should treat the creature with respect, silly people. They don't understand that hurting animals will make me money. <laughs> 
It really isn't an ethical decision, it's a financial one. I flew around the place like a magic man for a while and ended up finding a man on this tower. I have seen many adventurers challenge Kudra, but they don't understand what they're doing. There are many ways to find Kudra, you just have to think. He seems to know something he doesn't want to tell. What are you hiding? You know something. You know that the person watching this video didn't brush their teeth after breakfast. Pause the video, go do that, and keep watching. The person with this insight is named Dracu, which is interesting because, well, let me demonstrate. See? Now, with all this information, the equations, the name, the people, I know nothing. Maybe it's time to get some help. Hey guys, I want to help join the hunt. Wait, why are there coordinate graphs? Time travel vortexes? Melon helicopters? What the fuck? I was a common man walking into the Hall of Geniuses. They had thought of theories I had only dreamed of. This coordinate map includes all of the new NPCs that spawn after killing Kudra, like the Archaeologist, the Believer, and Dracu. But there are two that I miss. Near the entrance to the island on the top of the castle is Arch. He says that Kudra will one day return and that we need to be combined for when that happens. And the hunters seem to have a genius idea on what this NPC could mean. Arch goes to Archaeologist, or Archway, or Archery, Archduke Ferdinand. Never mind, they are all so stupid and we all have no idea but they did find a few things. The other new NPC is the Kudra Lore Master. He talks about the ancient Kudra text, just like the archaeologist. This guy might have what's missing from the integral, but he won't give us any information because he's grumpy that there won't be another Pirates movie. The triangulation of these five NPCs leads to a wall. So either that's not the right thing or we're missing an NPC. The next thing I didn't think of but the hunters did was time travel. Seriously. When the update first came out, people noticed something strange at the top of the mountain in the hub. There is a vortex particle thing. It doesn't seem to react to anything. We have no no idea what it could be used for. We've thrown items into it and even made lightning strike it. But on the Crimson Isle, there are three mages talking secretly. They ask you to leave, but if you sneak behind them, then you can hear them talking about time travel and debating whether it's possible or not. One of them mentions the sparkling thing in the sky on a nearby island and how it could lead to time travel. They have to be talking about this vortex. So remember that this could lead to time travel, but how does that help with the Kudra Mandible? Well, underneath the central volcano behind this small crack in a wall is a mad scientist, an evil scientist, who is planning something huge, but he needs the next few years to complete his big plan. We have to wait years before seeing it. But what if instead of waiting years, we traveled into the future using the hub vortex to when his evil plan is complete? What is his evil plan? Well, this is my personal theory, but there is a pig out in the ruins who is an author and tells you about her new book. It's about the lava on the island turning to water and the dangers of it. I think the evil plan of the scientist is to turn all the lava into water. Finally linking it back to the mandible, remember the pee pool? The level 300 squid you can fish has 500 million in health, but it quickly suffocates and dies without water. If the whole world was water, it wouldn't die, and maybe we could drag it to Odka. Odka is an NPC that gives rewards when you bring him unique fish. So if we bring him the rare pea fish, maybe he will give us the mandible. So to recap the time travel plot, use the portal to time travel to when the world is water and drag a squid to this guy for the Kudra mandible. This is one possible idea out of about five, all as complex as each other, and we haven't figured out how to use this portal yet. The whole storyline could be a teaser for the next update instead of the Kudra mandible. My personal personal idea was that we cancel the Kudra on Twitter until he tells us where it is. Wait, they just found a way around time travel. Okay, instead of turning the whole world into water for the squid, we are going to give the squid water breathing potions, which give the ability to breathe water. How would that help? Squids already breathe water and not air, that's the problem. We may as well try. Our next best idea was dying in real life, hoping Greek mythology was real, and finding one of the rivers of fire in the afterlife because its name is similar to the squid. Okay, the whole group is here. To get the golden ball, we had to bring a sea emperor, the rarest sea creature, up the mountain to Jake, who then sold the golden ball. So this time we will get the new rarest sea creature up the volcano and give it to Odger. He might sell us the mandible. With 20 people fishing, it shouldn't take that long to catch one. After 30 minutes of fishing, we are nothing. So we played Clash of Clans instead. You should join my clan. It looks like this. We have plenty. Wait, someone fished it up. Does it work? <laughs> yes, apparently. The water breathing potion somehow stops it from suffocating. We attached a lead to it and started our slow crawl up the mountain. Someone started hitting the squid, trying to ruin it for us, but we quickly called in a drone strike on his house. The lead kept breaking, but we made progress nonetheless. We are approaching mage territory. They will fire. Protect the squid at all costs. Oh, it disappeared. That's a shame. Turns out if you take it too far away from its pool, it despawns. So there goes that theory. I guess we're going to the Greek underworld. Although we forgot to bring it to the Believer NPC who is right next to the pool. So we might want to fish again and try that. Now everyone is arguing it how complex it will be. Some people are going through the textures in the game and converting the data in binary, then converting the code into numbers for integration. Which is much more complex than the Golden Ball, but the admins saw the insane things we tried for the Golden Ball, and now they think we are actually capable of doing complex smart things. Which is a mistake. We can't. But they might have put some crazy stuff in this puzzle. Why are we solving 
binary in a block game because the username of the account behind the skin of Arch is 1000 The squid is level 300. The mandible requires mining level 33. Dracu is three letters shifted from Kudra. I am three steps behind you. If you don't subscribe, you will be three feet underground. I don't have time to diggle six feet. I am busy looking for the mandible. What was I saying? Yes, the number three could be important. It seems to be used a lot. The new highest level fishing monster is Lord Jorbus. A mandible is a jaw. So maybe we bring the soul of that up to Odgar? Or have we tried bringing a sea emperor to Jay? There are currently four people fighting Kudra without fighting it. They took the advice to the protesters and are seeing what happens if you never damage the boss. They've been in there for half an hour. Then Graft came back into action. Pigacle joined the hunt and dug through the metadata of the NPCs. And if you convert Archer's skin player model thing, you get the letter C. This is important because of the integral from the archaeologist. If you solve it, you have a plus C constant that we don't know what is. So maybe Arch has something to do with this, but turns out it's actually FC, not C. So we converted FC into 6 and 3 and put them as boundaries to the formula and got this number. So I gave that many coins to the believer and it did nothing, so we integrated it again looked at the shape it made which gives you the letter M for mandible. Pikachu started giving himself an education on integrals to help. This happened! Do they mean anything? I don't know, probably not. I think I need to get away from this. Maybe the key is in the deep lore of the world. There is a person here who stands at the flames and tells my fortune. Oh, there's a guard after me. I told you I need these iPads to feed my family. She says I will use a sword with emblems on it to fight. Not very helpful for someone who can tell the future. Remember Arch? He has some interesting viewpoints. Mostly about how racism is bad. Very progressive. There are two factions on the Crimson Isle. The Barbarians and the Mages. And they are at war with each other over who gets sulfur, the cocaine of the Skyblock world. I'm not even making that up. Arch says that to survive when Kudra returns, we need to stand together. The real way to find the Kudra mandible might be the friends we made along the way. Seriously though, I keep saying things that I can't believe are true. This man talks about the history of their island and how a great hero will come and save everyone. There's also a library that might have secrets but only true mages can enter. There's a reputation system in which you gain ranks for your respective tribe. And maybe someone with a high reputation with the mages could be allowed to read the books? I feel like I've asked a thousand questions and gotten back 10,000 more questions. The thing is, what if it isn't one thing we have to do? What if this is a 12 step process and we haven't even found the first step. It's an epic parkour course and we can't find the front door. And then, seemingly out of nowhere, we found this. It's Among Us! No, we're still lost. Wait, what about the mel- When the update was released onto the alpha server, someone ghosting around the map came across something peculiar. A helicopter made out of melons underneath the island. Once again, I am serious, this is here. But if it has anything to do with the hunt, I swear to god I'm quitting. Wait, we got something! The lore says that Kudra became so big because it ate a bunch of sulfur. It's called a lava kraken. And the pea fish is called a lava squid. So if we feed the pea fish some sulfur, it'll turn into a Kudra. And someone just fished one up. I am rushing to jam sulfur down its throat. Here it is, be careful. Eat up. Wait, what? Eat the sulfur, please! It's strawberry flavored! Damn, I really thought that was gonna work. I don't know if I somehow knocked it in or it was just the worst timing ever. Also, Kudra teeth are a guaranteed drop from the boss fight and they have the word mandible in the description. Um, what else? Uh, please help. As you can see, the problem we have is an abundance of ideas, but we need more ideas and more people to test all of the ideas. If you'd like to help, join the Discord in the description and read the layout carefully. We have a methodical way of finding the answer to this, and that is by testing every stupid thing we can possibly think of, and we are asking for more stupider ideas. Thank you to these people for helping the hunt thus far. We will find this.